Greetings YouTube. Today we will be going over Neofly and also Little Nav Map and exactly what that translates to into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So once you get into Neofly, this is how it opens up. You'll want to input a call sign, this is just a profile name. The ICAO is going to be a four letter abbreviation for uh, an airport that you want to start at and then a starting aircraft we have a Cessna 152 Cessna Skyhawk G1000 and the X Cub along with that there are three different difficulties you can choose from survival essentially makes it to where if you crash in the game all of your progress is lost and you have to start a new profile Pro just makes it to where you have to have the same plane, the same locations, the same weights, everything kind of as your jobs are given to you, you have to match those criterias. Custom, you can turn on and off whichever features you want. Um, so we're going to go into this profile here. This is on my survival profile. You're, you're going to have this map. This is tied in with your Bing map. Um, you can go in and set that up and that gives you full access to the map capabilities. I, if we zoom out, these are all the jobs that are within, uh, available from this airport here, Whiskey November 17. If we go to Hangar, you will see I have an X-Cub. Uh, tail number, you can put your tail number to be whatever you want. How many uh, pounds of fuel it has how many nautical miles of range it has, how many pounds in payload you're capable of doing, how many passengers you can carry. All of this comes into play when you're looking for a mission. Now, what I like to do personally is I like to come in and select and right click on my aircraft. Go down to search mission at this location. The very first thing this is gonna do is it's only going to show missions at that location. The second thing I like to do is I like to make sure that this is checked so that it's only giving me jobs that I can actually complete. Uh, there are certain jobs that are restricted due to your profile rank. Then I like to come down to all of these and check all of those. What this is doing is it's gonna make it to where it's only showing missions that my plane can do. So with those two things it makes it a lot more easier to see what missions are actually capable of being done with my current setup. And then just depending on what I'm looking for, if I'm just looking for a long flight and make a lot of money, then I'll sort it by pay. Uh, another thing that you can do is sort it by distance. So if you're just kind of wanting 30 minute flights, an hour flight, something like that, you can sort it by distance and kind of see what's all available within that range. Another thing that I like to do is I like to stack missions together. What that means is if you can find multiple jobs that are generally in the same direction. You can stack them together and then turn them in at these different locations. So for instance, I could take this job here and this job here. The reason why is my cargo combined would be under 400. That's well under my payload weight here. And they're both generally in the same direction. They're only three miles apart. And so if I was to stack these two missions together, so I would fly from Whiskey November 17. I would then fly to Sierra 10. I would land, come to a complete stop, put on my parking brake. Neofly goes ahead and unloads this portion of the payload. Then it loads this portion of the payload. You take off from Sierra 1-0, and then you make your flight to Whiskey Tango 03, land, complete stop, parking brake, and it unloads this payload. And then you just made almost $7,000 instead of 
three and a half thousand dollars. It's really nice to do, especially when you're able to get missions with particularly low cargo weights together. It is a little bit tricky to do off the beginning because the three starter planes don't have very good payloads. As even though this has 1,000 pounds of payload, that is not what it is in Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's another thing that you're gonna have to be cautious about. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. We're gonna stack up some missions in the X Cub. We're then going to map out our course in Little Nav Map. We're gonna export all of that over into Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're gonna take a flight, drop off all these missions, and that way you guys can see from start to finish what this process looks like. Something I could do is maybe this $4,000 one and this $26,000 one. They're generally in the same direction, but they are extremely far apart as far as spacing goes. Another duo I could do is this set here. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I'd be flying here and then over. That's not very far. That would be a quick little flight as well. These two would also work. I found these three missions that I'm gonna stack together. I just right click on it, go to stack mission, and then I wanna go to this one, right click, stack to mission. And then lastly, this one here and stack mission. Then if you go over to flying, there's my three missions and it gives you my total payload weight to put in the game. That concludes the Neofly portion for the time being. We will be using Neofly again once we are in Microsoft Flight Simulator. The next video will be Little Nav Map. Thank you very much and have a good one.